Hey guys, it's Ty here. Happy Sunday. We are here for the fourth installment in our weekend watch talk. And I'm excited about today's topic. Uh, I'm excited to share with you, have a conversation about it and get your feedback. Let's do a wristwatch check first. I got my Submariner 114060. This one has been on the wrist every day for work. And that will actually take us right into our watch talk for today. So what are we going to talk about? So what I was thinking about sharing with you guys is the question of watch rotation. How often do you rotate your watches in a week and why? And of course, I'm going to share uh, just my opinion and, and what, what um, influences, what factors influence my watch rotation. So let's get to the first one. So factor number one for sure is going to be a new acquisition, a new watch. Uh, now I do have my Speedmaster Professional here. Uh, as an example, I bought this watch about, uh, well, last summer, a little over a year ago, right before I went for a seven week uh, uh, trip to Europe. And I had this watch on my European trip and a Tudor Black Bay that I've since sold. But I pretty much wore this every single day, at least once a day, uh, rotating it with the Tudor Black Bay. So when I get a new watch, I mean, I wear the heck out of it. And I think that, uh, I think that, that is a, probably the, the, the main factor of, uh, of a watch rotation for me when I have a new acquisition. Factor number two is going to be a new strap or a strap I haven't worn in a while. Now, uh, last weekend, actually, I did my Rolex Explore 1 uh, review and I actually switched this strap. I put this Hirsch strap that I bought in Europe, which is a beautiful calfskin leather. It is so comfortable and supple. And I really haven't worn this that much, uh, mostly because I lived in Miami and I don't like to wear leather straps in humidity. So I was mostly wearing the Speedy on a, a NATO. Uh, but since I'm here in northern New Mexico, uh, it's right now it's about 60 degrees out. So it's really nice to wear leather. Uh, so that's, that's going to be a big influence as well. If I buy a brand new strap, I want to wear it with my watch or watches. And uh, if I have a strap just I haven't worn in a while, then I will also wear it uh, really, really often. And I've worn this Omega uh, in my rotation this week as well. Uh, factor number three is going to be watch wearability. And this is kind of just the mood that I'm in. So sometimes, uh, you know, in the morning, I, I reach to the watch box and I just feel like wearing a big chunky Panerai. So I'll put on my PAM 177, 44 millimeters. It's just a, a big, big watch for me. And, uh, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and sometimes I want more of a smaller wearable watch. For me, smaller is kind of you know, 39 millimeters or 40 millimeters. Uh, so, so that just, uh, that just depends on my mood. Um, and I, but that will affect how much I wear a watch as well. Now let's talk about my watch wear for this week, just as an example. Uh, what I usually do, what I did this week is I had my Submariner on, uh, all week for work. I work from seven to about four every day. And I'll just usually pick one watch that I'll wear for the entire week of work. And then when I get home at night, I will do a watch rotation switch. Uh, so I would say for the most part, I wear two of my watches uh, every day. Uh, now that does change sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll, you know, I have a week where I'll actually switch a watch every day for work, where I'll wear a different watch every day for work, but that's pretty rare. For the most part, I have one watch for work. And then when I get home, I do a switch. So guys, let me know, what is your watch rotation? You know, some, I've got a buddy who is a watch collector. He wears one watch for a month. He puts everything else away and then he'll switch and get another watch for, for a month or three weeks. Uh, that's really hard for me. I just love my time pieces. So that's challenging. So let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful week. I'll be traveling south this week for a work training. Uh, maybe I'll do a little, a little blog somewhere down in Albuquerque. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your day today, and I will talk to you soon.